so uh, this is Brian of uh, Team Mana Storm uh, going over a profile of my Shadow Paladins. And what do you know? It's a raging form deck. Is is it? Well, let, let, let's see. We're gonna we'll go with the starter, Creeping Dark Goat. Um, I just love Grade Three Searchers. Helps with my consistency. Uh, really changes my starting hand a lot. I just like being able to get ones and twos. Really attack early, put pressure on, and uh, again, it just adds to my consistency. If I don't get a grade three in the top five cards, get a reshuffle my deck, and then again, up my chances of getting a grade three. So, creepy dark goat, great. Uh, I do tech in a Claudus because a couple reasons. It does allow me to change my starter up mid game if I'm in a best two or three and I find the situation dictates that I need Claudus. Um, also, the other thing is. It works really good in tandem with uh, one of the other cards I'm going to go over later, but we'll we'll touch base on that later here. Uh, starting with grade threes, we are going to start here with one, two, three, four. Illusionary Avenger, Mordred Phantom, because uh, break rides are break rides and they're things and you should run them, and if you don't, you suck. Uh, essentially, the ability is when you ride over this with a, another Vanguard at four damage, Counterblast one. Get a grade two or lower from your deck, call it to the field, it gets plus five, and then this card gets plus 10,000. Of course, this combos well with other cards, which we'll review later. Uh, next grade threes are gonna be two Cursed Spear Avenger Diamond, which this card was actually introduced by uh, a friend of mine, uh, Ed, who he played me with this card. I didn't ever even really pay attention to this. It is just. Uh, I, I, I love Raging Form and all, but this to me is such an amazing card. Uh, Raging Form is great in its own right, but this is great too. Its ability is, when it attacks, choose a rear guard with Avenger in its name, retire it, this unit gets plus five and a crit, uh, and then when this unit attacks an aggregate, it gets plus three. So when you do that and retire one unit, it gets 18k and a crit. So it automatically hits cross right like a boss, uh, and then what's boosted by the things, it, it does amazing. And this card just puts so much pressure on people. I do... Oh, it's it's stupid scary. Yeah, you don't want it. And then I tech in one, Dark Dictator. Um, like a moving ball. Like a Yeah, exactly. This card actually surprisingly put in more work than I thought it would. Uh, number one, it does something with my soul that is useless. I know, I said my soul's useless. I did. I'm a ginger. Oh! Shots fired. Um, but the great thing about this card is if I can break ride with this, and call out a unit, and I have a unit here, I can go plus five, plus five, because they're both auto effects, so they go off in whatever order I want them to. So having a 9k, even though this isn't Revenger, so my other cards like Mastery aren't gonna be 12ks, I'm usually gonna call Blaster Dark off this anyway, so the Blaster Dark's gonna be 19 by itself, boosted by a seven, 26, pretty good. Uh, and I've just found it's a great pressure card, it can't be boosted, but again, you have rear guards, which Shadow Pilots have plenty of, you're gonna be hitting for 14, 16, 18, so. Awesome, awesome card, I like it. Uh, grade twos. I'm running Revengers, so um, one, two, three, four. Blaster Dark Avengers. Uh, because Blaster Dark Avenger. Goes on the field. Counter Blast two. Three. Yeah, if you only have three, and well, then you should just not run Revengers. That, that, that's your other yeah. option. Just don't yeah, ever run Revengers. Just, just, yeah. Uh, three, Nuality, Revenger, so Masquerade. I only run three, and I'll tell you why, you'll understand here in a bit, uh, it's essentially a 12k attack for the Revengers, pretty simple there. Uh, the reason I run only three of it is because I do tech in one Blaster Dark Spirit. Um, this is kind of a funny tech because my deck isn't as dependent on Revengers, because I am run Dowerman and I don't retire three. I like this as a tech because uh, I wish I could run five Blaster Dark Revengers. I have found that with all the break writing I do and with all the calling of Blaster Dark, it usually gets retired or usually intercepts. So what I do now is I just use Blaster Dark Spirit and I can still do the retiring. It still costs just as much. Now of course I can't unflip a damage with it, um, but as far as counter blast, it costs the same amount. So it's, it's really good if I can ride it, it's nice and uh, it's a good tech to have. And then I have three Tartu, whose effect is, of course, when it hits field, counterblast two, call a grade one or lower to a rear guard right behind it. Um, this actually really works good if you are at two damage and you do ride onto this. I have some cards that actually make this viable to ride on Vanguard, which usually is a very, very sad thing. Undergrade runs. Hey, what do you know? Four Doran, because uh, four Blaster Blade. 
or dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking whoa, 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 whoa here. Uh, I know. I'm sinning here. I'm sinning. Blaster uh, dark. When it goes in front of this, I can unflip the damage. So this is what makes this deck stupid consistent. You call out free blaster blades with a break ride. Blaster darks. Darks. I keep saying blaster darks. Free blaster darks. And uh, it's just great for unflipping damage and gives you all the counter blasts in the world. Other great ones I run are, what do you know, four perfect guards. Because perfect guards are a thing. And things hit for big numbers. And you don't want to be hit by those things with big numbers and big crits. So four perfect guards. Yeah. Uh, then next we have three. Transient Revenger Masquerade 10k Attacker, if you have a Revenger Vanguard. Pretty simple, easy, grade one. Uh, and then I run kind of an interesting grade one lineup. Uh, I run one Revenger Dark Bond Trumpeter, who this card has saved my butt, thinned my deck up more than I care to even comment. Uh, Blaster, uh, what this does is, uh, when this is called, Counter Blast 1, call a grade zero out. Uh, and really what it's usually used for is calling a grade zero out when you want to do things like, you know, doing the whole Revenger thing with uh, the boss monsters, but what I usually do is I call out Claudus, and that's why I take Claudus in, because then I can call Claudus, call a Tarrest, kind of blast one, call a Blaster Dark, and again, this just thins my deck out by like two cards. So again, thinning my deck out by two cards in game to get to triggers faster is really good, and it helps. It's a 6k booster, it goes behind my 10ks and get it for good numbers as well. Uh, I tech in one Black Sage Charon, uh, because both my break right and then also Jarmond are 13k hitters by themselves. So boosted by an AK, it's 21. It's magic numbers. So that helps. Even though it's not a Revenger, if I want to, I can break right, call it behind it, and I can get it. Because this says I can get a Shadow Pal. It doesn't specify Revenger. The other grade one I run because of douchebags like Kyle, pabs like them who run cross rides, is this card, which is my special booster. Behind these cards, this means for 23 instead of 21. So I kind of have a selectability. So if I do end up running my Tartu here, then I can just go ahead and call this back here since it is Revenger and I got a, a nice booster. And for triggers, we're gonna go uh, one, two draw because this deck pluses like a boss. And well, I don't need to draw all that much. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sorry, I was gonna go more. Uh, ten crit in the deck because any deck that generates crit should have more crits. Because again, those two crits with Daraman are to scare. And I do like having the extra added pressure of crits in the deck. And since I plus so hard, don't need draw. So 10 crits, eight Revengers, two non-Revengers. Again, not as much dependent. And then four Revenger heals. It's a good thing. And uh, so far, it's been a really consistent deck. You know, uh, everyone's big on the Rage Form. And I love Rage Form, it's a great deck. But um, this one just consistently hits for two crits all the time, hurts your butt, makes you cry. And uh, yeah, so anyway. If you like the video, rate, subscribe, comment, uh, let me know what you thought of the deck, what was good, what sucked, and uh, we'll see you for more deck profiles and matchups here. I cannot wait to see all the hate you were going to get for that dark game.